Welcome to this Pride of Dakota feature. When you think about the romance of vineyards, growing grapes, and producing wines, it's common to think of places such as California first. Have you ever considered the state of North Dakota? In this feature, we'll talk to Rodney Hogan of Red Trail Vineyards in Buffalo, North Dakota about the growing grape and wine industry right here in our own state. In 2003, Rodney Hogan planted 120 vines, which eventually grew into the Red Trail Vineyards, located on the Hogan Farmstead in Buffalo, North Dakota. You can find their wines at Uncorked in downtown Fargo, Packers Package in West Fargo, or visit their tasting room near the Farmstead in Buffalo. They also host events from grape stomps to group tours. Joining us on the phone is Rodney Hogan. Welcome. Well, welcome to you, too. Thank you. Rodney, let's talk about growing grapes in North Dakota. I mean, when people think of vineyards, North Dakota really isn't, like, top of mind, is it? No, it really doesn't. And when I started this in uh, 2003, uh, it really provoked a lot of interest, uh, not only just from my neighbors wondering what I'm doing, but um, many people uh, around the area in the whole state. So what got you started? Well, uh, a winery down the road who was just starting up, he wanted me to grow grapes for for him. And um, anyway, when I did some research, I found out that there were actually some grapes, some wine grapes that would grow here in North Dakota back in 2003. And I was going to start out with a thousand vines, but it dwindled down to only 120 uh, because that's all the vines I could find. What type of grapes does it take to grow in North Dakota? I mean, is it a special type of grape? Yes, these are all hybrid uh, bred for the cold climate. They're called cold climate varieties. And um, the guy that started this, his name was Elmer Swenson. He was from Osceola, Wisconsin. And um, he started working across breeding wild grapes with uh, another type of grape that isn't so hardy for the northern climate. And he bred over thousands and thousands of them. And uh, right now the research has turned to uh, actually here in North Dakota, NDSU. So how many people are growing grapes in North Dakota for wine production? You know, there's probably 20 vineyards. 20 um, vineyards? Wow. Oh, yeah, 20 vineyards. But there's a lot of people that just grow from a few plants to maybe a half an acre to an acre or so that help, you know, provide wine grapes to uh, different wineries. So when you got started with this, Rodney, you really weren't intending to start a vineyard. You were just helping someone else out, just like you just mentioned, right? Well, I'm a, by nature, I'm a farmer, and that's what I was going to do. I was going to grow grapes and sell them. However, it, it kind of expanded to that because people wanted to come out here and look at our vineyard. So in 2004, I found an old granary, 100-year-old granary, and we moved it here on site, and we turned it into our tasting room. And um, this is the event center now. <laughs> the event center. We'll talk about that uh, event that you have every single year. I want to ask you, though, uh, is your growing season typically shorter because of the the winters that we have? Yes, it is. But, you know, it's like every other crop that's grown in the United States. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter if you're growing uh, wheat or beans or, or grapes. Uh, they're all bred for your climate, for your area. And uh, our grapes are short-season grapes, really. And uh, normally we, uh, we harvest the end of September. So, Rodney, you know, a lot of pe uh, other vineyards will also make wine from other types of fruit uh, available in our climate. Uh, is that something that you do as well? Uh, out here we don't. We only use our grapes for making wine. Uh, and one reason for a lot of fruit wines is because uh, it takes three years, you know, to get a grape on a vine, and um, fruit wines are lots easier to make ahead of time. And that's how we started, too. When we first started, we had fruit wines here, too, that were made for us. So it took several years before we got just into grapes. You're primarily just focused on quality grape wines. That's all we do here, yes. Can you tell me a little bit about the North Dakota Grape Growers Association and the role that it plays in your business? Well, you know, the North Dakota Grape Growers, um, it started in 2006. There were a few of us around the state that uh, began meetings up at Carrington, up at the Extension Service, as early as 2004. And when 2006 came along, we decided let's start an association. So that's when we started the North Dakota Grape Growers Association. And um, what it does, it provides education, promotion to the whole industry. And now we have over 100 members in the association. Well, that's really a growing membership. Yes, it is. And uh, there's a lot of interest. Uh, 
We have our annual meeting. Uh, it's normally in Bismarck in uh, February, and it's, it's all open to the public. If you want to become a member, you're, certain, you're certainly welcome. It doesn't matter if you grow grapes or drink wine. Um, we're doing a summer tour. The summer tour is going to be uh, also in Bismarck on September 7th. And on this tour, we're going to visit the uh, Lewis and Clark Interpretive Center up at Washburn and also the coal gas vacation plant. They're going to be a, a tour of some of the vineyards up in that area, and also we're going to end up at uh, Glen Allen, where the Dupongs have a vineyard, and they're going to feed us a delicious meal. That sounds like a great time. What does it take to become a member of the Grape Growers Association? Well, all you got to do is join. Go on the website that's... Uh, North Dakota Grape Growers Association dot org, N D G G A dot org, and all the information is on there. And there's forms if you want to join, if you want to see what's going on, the events that are going to be taking place. And I should mention also on July 20, no, on August 5th, it's going to be uh, NDSU is having a, a grape enhancement program of what they're actually doing in uh, growing and testing new varieties of grapes for North Dakota. Excellent. So if someone wants more information on Red Trail Vineyard or would like to try some of your wine, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Well, the best way would be to uh, uh, call my cell phone first. Uh, that number is 701-238-3337. You can call the tasting room. That number is 701-633-5392. Or uh, go on our website, redtrailvineyards.com information on there also excellent and you're also on facebook at facebook.com slash red trail vineyards yes we are with well, a bunch of pictures excellent and it, i would recommend instead of calling the tasting room maybe they should just show up in person hey that's a good idea <laughs> rodney yeah. i want to thank you so much for spending a few minutes with us well great well thank you for more information on this pride of dakota featured member or to find other feature podcast episodes, visit our website at prideofdakota.com or join the conversation at facebook.com slash prideofdakota.